It appears that five sets per week in this 30% to 80% of the one repetition maximum range is what's required just to maintain your muscles. So think about that. If you're somebody who's kind of averse to resistance training, you are going to lose muscle size and strength. Your metabolism will drop. Your posture will get worse. Everything in the, in the context of nerve to muscle connectivity will get worse over time unless you are generating five sets or more of this 30% to 80% of your one repetition maximum per week, okay? So what this means is for the typical person who hasn't done a lot of weight training, you need to do at least five sets per muscle group. Now, that's just to maintain. And then there's this huge range that goes all the way up to 15 and in some case, 20 sets per week. Now, how many sets you perform is going to depend on the intensity of the work that you perform. This is where it gets a little bit controversial, but I think nowadays most people agree that 10% of the sets of a given uh, workout or 10% of workouts overall should be of the high intensity sort where one is actually working to muscular failure. But the point being that most of your training, most of your sets should be not to failure. And the reason for that is it allows you to do more volume of work. So we can make this simple. Perform anywhere from 5 to 15 sets of resistance exercise per week. And that's per muscle. And that's in this 30 to 80% of what your one repetition maximum. That seems to be the, the most scientifically supported way of offsetting any decline in muscle strength. If you're working in the kind of five set range and in increasing muscle strength when you start to get up into the 10 and 15 set range. But it's pretty clear that performing this five to 15 sets per week, whether or not it's in one workout or whether or not it's divided up across multiple workouts is really what's going to be most beneficial. And please do keep in mind Henneman's uh, size principle and the recruitment of motor units. And remember, the better you are at contracting particular muscles and in isolating those muscles, the fewer sets likely you need to do in order to get the desired effect. What about people who have been training for a while? If you're somebody who's been doing weight training for a while, the data point to the fact that more volume can be beneficial, even for muscles that you are very efficient at contracting. Now, the, the curve on this, the graph on this, begins again at about five sets per week for maintaining a given muscle group and extends all the way out to 25 or 30 sets per week.